So welcome everybody to this latest GCSE revision video 162 maths. In this video we'll be going over an AQA GCSE maths topic test on the higher syllabus covering basic probability. Now there will be a copy of the questions in the description below which I recommend you have a go at before watching this video and going through the answers. So let's get started on this basic probability higher level topic test. Now the, I would say there's no indication that these questions are non-calculator or calculator so we will try and avoid using a calculator where possible but obviously we can use one. So it says that Temi rolls two fair dice, uh, two fair six-sided dice, I should say, and the two numbers rolled are added to give a total. Work out the probability that the total is a single-digit prime number. Now we've been given a lot of space, and I think the main reason for this is because it's allowing us to do a sample space diagram. And there's no kind of necessity to do this. And again, depending on how well you know probability problems with dice, it is possible for you to work this out with, I would say, not even the level of working out that we're about to do. So all we're going to do is add the numbers up. So I've got two, let's do them different. So two, three, four, And there we go. So from this, all we want to do is to highlight all the single letter prime numbers. So we've got two, three, got fives, got seven, and that is it. So totaling all of those up, we have an answer of 13 out of 36, which doesn't simplify so that there is our final answer. So moving on to question two, it says 84 people take a driving test, a quarter are men. For the men, the ratio pass to fail is five to two. The number of women who pass is double the number of women who fail. And what we need to do here is complete the frequency tree. So looking at this, I can see that we've got 84 people in total and a quarter of them are men. So if I divide 84 by four, I get two and one, so that means that 21 are male. And if I do 84 take away 21, that's going to give me 63 are female. Now, from this, we can then use the ratio. So we need to share 5.2, so we share 21 in the ratio of 5 to 2. So here I've got 21 divided by 7, which equals 3. 5 times 3 is 15 and 2 times 3 is 6. Now it then says that double the number of women who pass, uh, well double the amount of women who pass then fail. So if we might call this 2x and we call this x then what I've got is I've got 3x equals 63 so x is going to equal 21. So if x equals 21 that's going to be 21 and the amount of people that fell is going to be 2 times 21 which is 42 and there I've completed my frequency tree. Now the next question then says, it says one person is chosen at random, work out the probability that it is a woman who passes, give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. So here we're looking for a woman that passes, which is 42 out of 84. And then if I then go on to simplify that, I get 21 over uh, 42. And I can then divide that further to give me, and we're dividing both answers by that, which gives me a half. So question three reads that a pond has 60 fish, 27 were carp and the rest were tench. Uh, 10 fish were added. The probability that fish picked at random is a carp is now a half. How many tench were added? Well, for this, let's have a look at the situation. So here we've got 60 fish in total. We've got that 27 a carp and the rest were tench which gives us an answer of 33 were tench now it says 10 fish were added so we've now got 70 fish and it says that the probability that a uh, carp is picked at random is now half so which means that half of the 70 must be 35 so we've now got 35 carp which means that we've added uh, 8 so that means we add two tench 
which means that there are now 35 tench. So how many were added? The answer then is going to be two. Question four, it says that a box contains containers that are red, blue, yellow, or green. The table shows some information about picking a counter at random. There are 40 counters. How many red counters are there? Well, to start off with, what we need to do is complete this frequency table, probability table, by recognizing that all of those probabilities need to add up to one. So what we've got is got 0 0.25, 0 0.35, and 0 0.3. And if I just quickly add them all up, what I end up with is 0.9. So the, the probability being red is going to be 0 0.1. Now, if there are 40 counters, then or 40 blue counters, I should say, which is going to be relatively important. So that means that if 0 0.25 is 40, which is 25%, so in other words, 25% equals 40, 50% is therefore going to be 80, and 100% is therefore going to be 160. So there are a total of 160. Now in terms of the red counters, red counters are already 0 0.1, so if I do 0 0.1 times 160, I should have the answer of 16. Then moving on to question 5. Uh, it says that 120 students have maths or science next lesson. There are 12 more boys than girls altogether. The ratio of maths to science is 2 to 3. Half as many girls have maths as have science complete the table. So let's have a look at this information that we do have. So looking at this first one, we know that there's 120 students. So these two totals need to add up to 120. And we also know that there are 12 more boys than there are girls. So if we look at this, we look at the total of boys, well that's going to, if we call the number of girls x, then the number of boys is going to be x plus 12. So then we've got 2x plus 12 equals 120. So 2x is going to equal 108. So x equals 54. So this is going to be 54. And this is going to be 66. So from this, we've, that's our first one done. Now we also know that the ratio of mass to science is 2 to 3. So here what I want to do is I want to share 120 in the ratio of 2 to 3. Now 2 plus 3 is 5, so 120 divided by 5 is 24. So if I do 2 times 24, and then 3 times 24, I'm going to get 48. I don't know where that 240 has come from, so let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to get 48 and 3 times 24 is going to be 72. So I've got 48 and 72. Now from this it then says that half as many girls have maths as have science. So there's more girls doing science therefore. So then what we should have then is splitting 54 in the ratio of 2 to 1. So I've got 54 divided by 3 and again 54 divided by 3 is 18. So then this is going to be 18 and this is going to be 36 and then from this I can then work out what the numbers are going to be for the boys. So 48 take away 18 is going to give me an answer of 30 and 72 take away 36 is also going to give me 36 and there I've completed my table. Now question 5b then says that a student is chosen at random. Work out the probability that is a boy who has maths. Well in terms of boy that has maths it's going to be 30 over 120 which we can simplify which gives us 3 over 12 which gives us 1 over 4 and there is our final answer. And that concludes this basic probability topic test.